great, a family island. I guess it yeah, matter. I think I go through you. That's traditional. <laughs> okay. We gather this morning to celebrate the love that has grown in the hearts of Laura Byerly and Gabriel White Vega for many years now. We also come to vi uh, witness the vows of commitment that they will make to one another. And I have to say, while this is not the place or the gathering that Laura and Gabriel had originally planned, it is their official wedding day. And what a beautiful day it is. Feel the breeze, the sunshine, the ducks are here. Uh, others are gathered to witness this day. One thing that the pandemic has taught us in these last months is that there are some essential people. And Gabriel and Laura, I want you to turn around because your essential people are here all of them and we're grateful for their presence for those of you that have gathered family and friends rachel uh, your love and support in their lives means more than you know it has shaped them into the people they are today people uh, a woman and a man ready to join their lives with promises of love and commitment welcome to this celebration of life and love. I invite you now just to uh, take a deep breath and have, I want us to have some moments of silence so we can take in the beauty of this place, the sights, the sounds, the smells, and pause to consider the joy and wonder of this day for Gabriel and Laura. Drink it all in. We give thanks for this time to pause and reflect on the gifts of life and love that have brought us all here. And now Gabriel's sisters, Elisa and Eliana will sing a thousand years and we can all turn and face them. Closer. 
I have died every day waiting for ya. Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved ya for a thousand years. I loved ya for a thousand more. And all along I believed I would find ya. Time has brought your heart to me. I have loved ya for a thousand years. I loved ya for a thousand more. Every day waiting for ya, darling. Don't be afraid. I have loved ya for a thousand years. I loved ya for a thousand more. And all along I believed I would find ya. Time has brought your heart to me. I have loved ya. you pray with me spirit of creation and all living things you give us life and love to fill our days with beauty and joy we give you thanks for this day for the gift of life and the seeds of love that you sow in every human heart we gather as witnesses of the love and beauty that has grown in Laura and Gabriel's lives we give thanks for the love that brings them together for the dreams they share for the future and the hopes they hold for their marriage and for each other. Bless their journey with a love that grows and deepens. We pray that the words and the spirit of our gathering may be filled with meaning that will inspire all of us to commit our lives to the ways and wonder of love. Amen. And now Z and Matthew, Susan and David, as parents of Gabriel and Laura, you have shared your love with them for many years. They now ask for that same love to bless them as husband and wife. Do you offer them your blessing and rejoice with them in their love for one another? Will you support and strengthen their marriage by upholding them with your love? and by welcoming them as members of your family. If so, say, we will. We will. And now uh, Matthew and Amara will offer their readings. And you can come right here. Why don't you two stand together? From the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 6. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. From the words of Emily Bronte in her novel, Wuthering Heights. He's more myself than I am. Whatever souls are made of, his and mine are the same.
just lock arms for right now, yeah. Gabriel and Laura, your wedding day has finally arrived and your family surrounds you now and we are blessed. We are so blessed to be in this beautiful space on this beautiful day. I want to take a few moments just to talk with you about love and marriage. Uh, those of us here today have had the privilege of watching your love for each other grow. From your days as students and friends here at Penn State, as your relationship grew more serious, to your engagement and through the long distance period of this relationship that you've endured. We've seen the playful, the fun, and the serious sides of your relationship. We've observed your commitments and your deep respect for one another. And today we've come to witness and affirm the promises that you'll be making in just a few moments. Today you make a commitment to marriage, but it goes even deeper than that. As Margaret Kipe says, it is a covenant, a covenant that says, I love you, I trust you, I will be there for you when you are hurting, and when I am hurting, I will not leave. It is a covenant intended not to provide haven from pain or anger, from fear and uncertainty or sorrow, because really life doesn't ever offer such a place. Instead, marriage is intended to provide a sanctuary safe enough to risk loving, to risk living and sharing from the very center of oneself. And this, this really is worth everything. Laura and Gabriel, I think you already know that the marriage you are creating today holds within it the potential to be the most loving and the most challenging relationship of your lives. I've, I've really been for, fortunate to witness the maturity, the seriousness, and the commitment that you bring, that both of you bring to this marriage. Over the months that we've planned together for this day, I've been inspired, really inspired by the honesty and the respect that you have for one another, the way you carefully, sometimes almost too carefully, <laughs> communicate both your thoughts and your feelings, and the depth, the depth in which you tackle almost any subject. We have some company here. <laughs> You have been very intentional about your relationship and your plans for this marriage and for your future. And it's been my joy. It's been my joy to witness that. I've seen you ponder deep questions for your future. I've seen you tease each other and laugh together. And yes, I've seen you prepare plans A, plans B, and plan C <laughs> for this wedding ceremony. For if the coronavirus has taught us anything this year, it has taught us that the best laid plans may change and change again. And the two of you, together, you have weathered all of the changes that COVID-19 threw at you for this day. And you've weathered it with a flexibility and a grace that I know will serve you well in the years to come. Gabriel and Laura, may God bless your love and your new life together. May you create a home, a home filled with love, laughter, fun, friends, and family. And may you always be open to the ways your love and marriage will change through the years. Having heard these words on love and marriage, I invite you now to join hands and repeat your vows after me. Gabriel, you go first. Laura, to you I offer myself. Laura, to you I offer myself. I offer my strength. I offer my strength. My support, my loyalty, and my faith. My support, my loyalty, and my faith. I offer my hope. I offer my hope. I offer my love in all the changing circumstances of life. I offer my love in all the changing circumstances of life. For as long as we both shall live. 
as long as we both shall live. Gabriel, to you I offer myself. Gabriel, to you I offer myself. I offer my life. I offer my life. I offer my strength. I offer my strength. My support, my loyalty, and my faith. My support, my loyalty, and my faith. I offer my hope. I offer my hope. I offer my love in all the changing circumstances of life. I offer my love in all the changing circumstances of life. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Gabriel, I think you have some rings for me. I certainly do. Laura and Gabriel, these rings mark the beginning of a life journey together. A journey filled with wonder, surprise, laughter, tears, and joy. The circle is the symbol of the sun and the earth and the universe. It is, sim it is also a symbol of God's unending love and of perfection and peace. May these rings be to each of you a reminder of the promises that you have just made. Whenever you see this symbol of your partner's love, know that love is precious and it's fragile and it's strong. Now I invite you to seal your vows by giving and receiving of these rings. Gabriel, repeat after me. Laura. Laura. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. Gabriel. I give you this ring. Gabriel, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. Before this gathering of family and friends, Laura and Gabriel have promised each other their love. They've given each other rings to wear as a sign of their deep commitment. And therefore, I now pronounce them husband and wife, equal partners in love and in marriage. You may kiss. Will you pray with me? Spirit of life and of love, we thank you for the gift of love that has grown in the hearts of this couple. May their love grow and continue to be a source of strength and joy for them, for us, and for others. Guide and protect Gabriel and Laura through the joys of their life together, as well as the difficult and uncertain times that come to every relationship. In those times, we pray that you give them ears that hear and listen, hands that hold and share, hearts that forgive and love anew. We pray for ourselves that we may learn more about love and the power of love to create, to heal, to enrich life, and yes, to build a better world. Guide all of us on the journey of love that you share with us. Amen. For our benediction today, I decided since we're outside, I wanted to use a traditional Apache blessing. Hear these words. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries and the breeze blow new strength into your being. And all of the days of your life, may you walk gently through the world and know its beauty. I invite you now to join me in greeting Gabriel White Vega and Laura Byerly White, partners in life, love, and marriage. He's not your friend. <laughs> There's a fly. <laughs> He's still stuck there. There we go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Just go down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're very.
Wait, can I spin you? Yeah. <laughs> can we get the fly out? Yeah. He's really under. Out of here. Oh, thank you. Good job. It's gone.